Recognizing Scene Viewpoint Using Panoramic Place Representation Scene viewpoint recognition is an important but mostly ignored visual task for scene understanding. For example, if you are standing inside a theater, you can look in different directions and see different views. Although all of these views belong to the same place category, theater, the photos in this space look very different from different viewpoints. This is because a typical camera has a limited field of view and can only capture a portion of the environment around the observer. The goal of this paper is to build a place categorization and viewpoint recognition model. We use 360 degree spherical panoramic images for training because they cover all possible views within a place. Panoramic images were downloaded from the internet and given a scene category label, such as theater or street. There are 80 place categories in total in the Sun360 panorama dataset. 26 categories are used in the following experiments. During testing, given a limited field of view photo as testing input, our model recognizes the place category and produces a compass-like prediction of the observer's viewpoint. By superimposing the testing view on an average panorama of many theaters, we can automatically predict the possible layout that extends beyond the available field of view. This is the pipeline of our algorithm. The first step is place categorization. The second step is to simultaneously align the panoramas and train a viewpoint classifier. The place categorization step is simple. Training images are generated by sampling many different viewpoints in each panorama. The viewpoint information is ignored, and all of the images are put together into a nonlinear classifier to train the place classification model. Because we use a nonlinear classifier, we can trust the classifier to find the complicated decision boundary without worrying too much about the viewpoint. The input for the second step is a list of unaligned panoramic images from a single place category. We want to align them and train the viewpoint classifier. For the first iteration of the algorithm, we use only one panorama for training. Because there's only one panorama, there is no need for alignment. We train a viewpoint classifier using one training example from each view. Now we use this viewpoint classifier to predict the viewpoint for the other training panoramas. In addition, we can calculate an overall confidence score for each panorama based on how well it aligns with the training panorama. We rank the panoramas according to their overall confidence scores. We pick the panorama with the highest confidence score and add it into the training set for the second iteration. In the second iteration, we retrain the SVM for viewpoint classification using the learned alignment and two training examples for each viewpoint. The process continues until all panoramas have been added to the set and the final SVM is trained on the complete training set. During training, the algorithm automatically discovers the symmetry exhibited by each place category. This allows us to share training data across corresponding views, effectively increasing the size of the training set. Here are some visualizations of the results. The first column shows the test photo which was used as an input to the algorithm. The second column shows the viewpoint predictions using a compass-like representation. The values are the scores from the SVM viewpoint classifier. The center of the compass is negative 1, the blue circle is 0, and the distance beyond the blue circle represents increasing positive scores. The last two columns illustrate the predicted viewpoint and show the extrapolated scene layout beyond the input view. The left image extrapolates the layout using the average panorama from the place category. The right image uses the nearest neighbor from the training set. Here you can see an input photo in the center, and the area around the photo is the extrapolation. We can clearly see how correct view alignment allows us to predict visual information that extends beyond the boundaries of the input image. In these examples, we extrapolate the extended view using texture synthesis guided by the nearest neighbor panorama. The synthesis algorithm is from Raj and Rosenholtz 2010 and is based on Portia Simoncelli texture synthesis. Being able to extrapolate information outside the available view has many applications in computer graphics. 
For example, we can gain information about objects which are likely to be present in the environment even when they are outside the boundaries of the photograph. The database and source code are available online. For more information, please visit our website. Thank you.